Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We're back with Noah, an injured Noah, outside of the second part of the brewery. We were almost murdered by a mute crab. Something that I think other survivors may have experienced before. A fate that would not have been so kind, but we are still alive, albeit injured and uh, a little bit lacking in the health department now. Hopefully, hopefully, we will not see repeats of that as we enter the brewery. But we're going to be doing that together. So, guys and gals, let's dive on in. And, as you can see, we're, we're a little shaky, so we'll be putting that down for now, and maybe going with this. However, this is not going to be very accurate once shooting, so it's going to make for a fun time. No idea, no idea what we're going to find in here, but we'll just take it one step at a time. Okay, it sounds like more of our friends. Fantastic. There are sneaky little bastards. Oh, hello, locked locker. Uh, don't mind if I do. Let's see if we can pull this off again. Do I just do it like a little movement? Oh, we got, we got some movement there, actually. Some, I love it when a guess works. Got it. I'll just take the experience for now. I oh, will take your bottles, though. Yes, please. My favorite. Okay. I'm gonna crack you open as well. Take all of you. Okay. Let's see if we can activate this machine here. Now we are gonna need a password. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this, like I usually do, and I'll see you on the other side. I'm in. Okay, we are in. Um, doesn't look very interesting though. We got some experience from it, so that's better than nothing. Uh, but yeah, could, could, could be better. No, there's nothing there. So we're gonna go ahead and use the other machine to see what we can get, if anything. We know the password, good. So this is from the other building. Ah, uh, special tours, master brewer. Let's see if we can clock in. No. Doesn't appear to be working, for whatever reason. So let's just open the door instead. If you can do that for us, that would be swell. Open door. Fantastic. Thank you. And, um, yeah, there's definitely noises coming from inside there, so we... I'd rather... I'd rather we don't fight them. At least all at once. Or, you know what? Yeah, let's fight them all at once. Get as many, get the attention of as many as possible. I want to just try and throw it down there on the eggs. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, we missed it. That sucks. That sucks big time. You know what? We can get on top of here. Yeah, we're smarter than you. This, do well, well, I don't want to lose out on them. Uh, but we can, we can outsmart them. They can't get to us from up here. So let's make the most of that. We could, we could shoot them, should we need to. I mean, it's kind of half worth it for their meat. I'd really rather the radio wasn't on. But there's nothing I can do to change that. Because whenever there's a radio on, whoever's making that song claims my video. <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous, but uh, that's the way it is. So we're going to have to try and get to that radio to shut it off, otherwise Rykon's going to go hungry. I really would like it if they would run over some of these caltrops here. There doesn't seem to be that many of them that are actually alive at the moment. I'm hoping we're going to be able to eat most of their eggs. For now, though, I think we can just stick up the top and move around pretty freely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a few there. We got a few there. Okay. What are you, what are you guys going to do? I want to, I want to try and see if I can activate some others. See if those eggs are going to go. Or just try and get them to come closer to us so that we can chuck down another set of caltrops on them. Take care of them the uh, semi-intelligent way. Because they shouldn't be able to jump and attack us from where they are at the moment. I don't want to tempt fate. <laughs> Let's stay on the move for now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hello. Can, you can't walk there, can you? No, you can't. No, so we're actually still totally safe. If I can get them to come to the edge here, that'd be real swell. But I think they're smart enough to not do that. 
It looks like it's just you, buddy. Where's your friends? Oh. Did you just die? Yeah. Because they get submerged underneath the water, I think, and the radiation eventually kills them. That's good. I'll take that. I think those eggs are wriggling. Yeah. I kind of like that this is designed in such a way that we can uh, avoid all of this, though. We are going to want to go down there and, and uh, kill them all eventually, but, uh, well, for now they're killing themselves, and that kind of works for me. Especially when we're injured by them already. Okay, this is the control room, it looks like. Okay, and the radio, blah, 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 blah. There we go. <laughs> um, we'll definitely take that. Um, not many vendors, though. Um, we'll take it. We'll take it all the same. Just want to make sure that they didn't sprout wings all of a sudden. Um, let's see if we can get into this toolbox. Come on, lucky lockpick. Oh, got a little bit of movement. Oh, no way. Yes. Got it. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll take it. Why not? Okay. Um, oh, hello. Oh, uh, nothing on you, but... Uh, that's so disappointing. It's a red trunk, and there's nothing in there. Uh, so disappointing. <laughs> I was so excited. I thought we'd have some really good stuff from that. Um, brewing systems. Oh, can we drown them? Maybe we can. Oh, that'd be such a good way to get stuff. Um, let's just, let's just walk on for a little bit Well, they are killing themselves still. I was gonna say, let's walk on a little bit further, see what else we can see, but no, I, I think, I think that's what we're gonna do, and then we'll come back this way. Brewing systems, use. What do we got? System malfunction. Okay, we're just going to have to use the main control console in the rooftop pods for the time being. Ah. So I can get a technician out here. I've tried everything. The main OS seems to be operating correctly. I've checked the full length of the wire connections, and they're fine too. Right. Okay. Rooftop. So I'm hoping that's going to lead us to the rooftop. Uh, we need to take another bandage, or rather wrap another bandage on our arm. Try and get some back more, some more HP. Yeah, there's still some living ones down there. Probably in egg form. Oh, here we go. That's what we're after. This is the side. Um, just check these brew tranks and the stuff around them. Hello. Hello, hello. Ah, you're just chilling, aren't you? Hello, can you see me? No, you can't. You can't see anything. Oh, you're a semi-neutral one. Okay, well, that's kind of annoying. Uh, industrial solvent? Sure. Going for a bit of a wonder. Oh, you, no, you are coming for us. Trying to, at the very least. Oh, bottles, yes. Actually, those are proper beers. Uh, 50 caliber. Sure, scalpel too. Okay, well, we've certainly got something out of this. Uh, I want to go onto the roof armed. Let's go for you. And see what we can find. It could be turrets. Well, I mean, would a brewery have turrets protecting it? Not naturally by itself, but someone could have put them on there. I don't know, maybe maybe they're very protective of their secrets. It's possible. Uh, but I'm surprised we haven't seen any ghouls here at all. There were still some gore bags, but I guess they were kind of more on the other side, the restaurant side. Uh, what the hell? Oh, is it down here that we've been found? If they magically teleported through the door, I would not be impressed. Because there's no way they can get on the top level. Unless something else has uh, spotted us. Which I'm not saying is impossible, I'm just saying it's very unlikely. And I'm super afraid now. What could be out there? I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just go nice and slow. Watching our feet. Peek on the roof. Okay. We're alright. We're alright. Oh. That's oil. Not super happy about that. That's a massive slick. Okay. 
I don't hear a turret. Okay. I feel super nervous up here for some reason. Bard. Get, well, wow, that was super loud. Um, okay, from the other side. Well, I don't suppose I can just shoot it off. Ah, we've got somewhere on the outside. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I can get in through the roof. Interesting. I do not see a way in there. I don't think we can shoot it, either. I don't think that's a thing. We'll, we'll try if nothing else comes of this. Beautiful sunrise in the waste. Yeah, you the same? Ah, oh, advanced? Really? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there's nothing really in there, though. There's just... Nah, I'm, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more easily now. We can, we can almost get our hand in through the window. If we broke the window, we could get that. That's, that's literally all that's in there. Unless that machine has a proper switch on it, which I don't think it does. Yeah, I mean, it's got some switches, but I don't think there's switches we can flick. Uh, so, the roof is a little bit of a, it's a, it's a bit of a bust. God, that sway makes me sick. There we go, that's better. Um, that's all kinds of mess. Definitely all kinds of mess. Don't know what I expect. It's almost like a crow's nest up there. And that's a crow. No one up there. God, that's so bright with this damn night vision. Uh, right, so we are going to need to try and take a shot at this thing. Um, I don't see any other way to get it open. And, uh... That's got the computer in it that we need to use, so... I don't know if we take a shot at it from here. I mean, that's nice and open. That's that's open glass, so if I can shoot it... We'll try. Oh yeah! I didn't know that was a thing for some reason. Sometimes I forget what you can do and what you can't do in Fallout. That's sometimes why I try and smash things, because I know like in Skyrim we can smash things. So, I just forget sometimes. It happens. You look like you, it looks like you had a good time. Take all your bottles. And some. Ooh, hello. Uh, carrying too much. Snubnose 44 and a gas canister mine. Ooh. Oh, I love a 44. Like, I love these pistols, but, um, yeah, obviously we can't take that with us. Um, we've got a lot of ammunition we can't really properly use. I'm probably going to drop these off. They take up space. And we don't have space for them right now. What do we have the most of at the moment? Uh, 45. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of 45 rounds. Uh, we've got a lot of 10 millimeter as well, actually. 5.56. Five, the 5 millimeter rounds we're probably never going to touch. So we'll go ahead and drop those off. They're not going to be weighing us down much at all. We've got a lot of beer bottles. A lot of them. Um, I'd be tempted to... We're not thirsty or anything yet. Uh, what's that? What's that ailment? Over-encumbered. Yes. That we are. That we are. We need to do something about it. Um, we don't need to have all... I guess that's a tough thing, is that I want to be able to hold on to these mines, etc. But I don't think we can. So we're going to leave you behind, gas canister mine. Oh, no, we're going to use you. We're going to use you down there on the uh, on our friends. Unless the brewing system does something for us. Which it might. It might. Okay, leaks detected in the brewing vat. System non-operational at this time. Scheduled deliveries. Okay, Shamrock Tap House. Okay, oh cool. Well, we got some map details from this. Deliveries are to be made through the alley near the waterfront. Speak with the proprietor for the key. Hotel Rexford. Another location for us. And the ballpark. Uh, which I think we walked past. A lot of kegs. Okay, trapped. Hmm. Ooh, it's been a few weeks since the bombs fell. My sight has come back a bit. Oh, this is this guy here. But my hearing is still gone. Everything's gone to shit. We hold up in the restaurant for a while, but when the looters broke in yesterday, Melissa locked herself in the utility closet. 
and managed to pop the grating off the pipe in the craft wing and get out to the main brewery. But now I'm trapped up here on the roof. I don't know how much longer I can hold out. Damn, son. Uh, tape? Ooh. Okay. Contains encoded subroutines for the brewing of Gwinnett brand Dead Red Coat Ale. Attempting to brew these subroutines without a license. Oh, right. So this is... Ah, uh, this is for us. We can eject this holy tape, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we need to get back out of it, though. Uh, I want to get back. It's not going to let me get back, isn't it? I, I want to eject that holotape. tape. I want to take it. Because that's got the recipe on it. There we go. We got it. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, I was hoping we might be able to ri raise the water level or something like that in there. What we're going to do is, we're going to have a good beer. We'll go for a, uh, we'll go for a lager. Nice. We'll grab that gas canister mine. And then we'll, uh, we'll burn some of those suckers down there. That's what we'll do. Not ourselves. Not today. No siree. And then we're going to have some eggs. And some crab meat as well. It'd be great if we could get them in one area, but I just don't think that's going to happen. I mean, we could try as much as we want to be able to do that, but I just, yeah, like I was saying, I don't, I don't think I can see that happening. Either that, we could just shoot them. That's a safe way to deal with them, really. Um, although they might, they might be dead by now, for all we know. I mean, there's a few of them around. Hmm, we do want to kind of try and get back over to here, if possible. I mean, we can just jump down. It's no real biggie. Here we go. Jump back up here. We still have some caltrops there. Did I ha have I used that machine? Oh, maybe that's to open that. I think it is. Yeah, clock in and out. Can't do that here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, they might all be dead. Let's keep our pistol semi-handy, though. Well, actually, it's probably to keep that. <gasps> oh, oh, so he came in the pipe. No way. Okay. Um, right, we can fill our water bottles here. Let's, let's watch for other kinds of barnacles, though. And also, watch for moving eggs. Are any of you moving? Oh, you are, you sons of bitches. Okay, move back. Oh, there's... There we go. How many? How many? Are you right beneath me? You are, you little bastard. Is it just you? We know what they can do to us. I know it seems like such a waste to just use a pistol bullet on them, but... Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, that felt good. When we get them and it works, it feels good. Okay. No more popping out, okay? We're just gonna take your eggs now. Exactly. Ah, uh, and we're too full. Okay. All right. We need to do something about that. So let's. Um, we could just be drinking more. Uh, no, there is a limit to it. It doesn't stack. Okay. Good to know. Our other lager just ran out. So uh, what we're going to do for now is we're just going to drop one of our weapons on the ground. I know that sounds a bit extreme, but that'll be fine for us to do for now. Um, is that what we're going to do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got so much dirty water on us. Um, we're not thirsty yet, are we? No. We're actually okay in that regard. Because, uh, yeah, the amount of dirty water we have is actually quite excessive at the moment. Hmm. <laughs> that and our beer bottles. Oh, actually, in saying that, they don't weigh very much, so... Industrial solvent, you weigh. Oh, that's antiseptic. We've got we've got enough antiseptic going on at the moment. Um, I am gonna to want to try and grab more meat here though, so we need to do we need to do something, right? Uh, what are we gonna get rid of there? Gas can of mine? Oh right, I, I still had you. I totally forgot about that. Well yeah, let's leave you here for now. 
Um, you're a you're a last resort if it comes to that. Uh, do we we've got one more thing of caltrops? Okay. Okay. Uh, and we got three lots of meat then. I think so, because we had three to kill. Yeah. Okay, on to the next lot. What have we got? Son of a bitch. I, d I can't see any there, specifically, but... Oh no, they're, they're definitely moving. Yeah, that's what you get, sucker. How'd you like that? All right. Where are you at? Huh? I want you to go away. Because I think even if I try and drop down on you and attack... Or, see, there's like a second before we can attack. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I, I, I know we can kind of tab out of that. I didn't do it in time, though. Okay, just you. Just, can we stop to... Stop jiggling, please. Come on. Come on. Crab me. There we <laughs> oh dear. Okay. They're dead. So it looks to be like it's almost gonna always be three of them. Three of them are alive, three of them aren't. Uh, and we're over-encumbered again. Because the meat actually weighs us down a fair amount. Yeah, we are still under the influence as well. Um, improvised explosive device, we could drop that off for now as well. Um, you aren't weighing us down too much, you're weighing us down a fair amount. We could just drop the radium rifle just for a second. We are going to come back for you, don't worry, don't worry. Stop doing pirouettes and stuff. Uh, that was our last caltrop though. So, can I see any wriggling? I mean, surely there's going to be some there that are alive. That's just the way it is. I want to invite them to explode. Oh yeah, oh, they're going to explode. Let's back the, uh, back the truck up. Oh, yeah. They died on their own. That's great. That's great. Just, just walk right over the caltrops. That's awesome. Keep that up. Uh, I'm probably just going to shoot you guys. I, I really don't want to risk dying here, especially after everything that we've gained. I know it's silly. I know it is, but well, un unless they die, then it's not as silly. No, that's silly. Okay, we're not going to be able to hit anything at this range. Uh, we are very injured. Uh, we could, like, just kind of scare them away and then go grab the eggs. When it brew has worn off, uh, we're not over encumbered at the moment. We definitely need to get our rifle. <laughs> oh dear. Um, what I might try and do, it's a little risky though. I want to try and uh, awaken the others and then take them out in one fell swoop with the uh, gas canister mine. Know what I mean? I think that's the best thing for us to do. Well, okay, or we can let them die. As they seem to. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure we saw one, yeah, fly off over in this direction. Uh, but we've already, we've already, yeah. We've already taken from you. Yeah, if we give them long enough in the water, it seems like they're gonna die. Where'd you all go, though? That's what I want to know. God, you're fast? What the hell? I guess water is your thing. This is ridiculous, right? That I'm... ...having this kind of encounter... ...with mute crabs? Come on. Yeah. You're going to hatch now, aren't you? There we go. 
Run around and die, you bastards. That's what I say to you. Now we want to try and get round to the others. I know this is like probably the, the the coward's way of dealing with them, but sometimes you need to be a coward in frost, um, especially when you've got an injured arm and you know you're not going to be that great at fighting. I'm amazed that we didn't get poisoned when we were outside. I don't know why we didn't get poisoned, but poison is the way that you die to these things most of the time. Um, usually all it takes is just one hit from them and you are poisoned and you will die. But we know that if we give them long enough, they should go bleh and die. Like the pathetic little crabs that they are. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean to the crabs, but they are very mean to us. On the, you know, for the most part. We've got two of them down there. Wait for them to have enough. They seem to be going in and out of the water though, so maybe I do need to antagonize them a little bit more. We've got one more set of eggs around the corner, I believe. Uh, we might be able to do something like this. If I can find this final set of eggs. Nope, not over this side. Okay. Well, we can certainly kind of go... Yeah, we can do that. That works. I'm gonna have to try and draw them out. Looks like these are actually the last set. I was incorrect. Oi. They're a bit dumb sometimes. Hey. Come on. That's one down. <laughs> sometimes you just need to give them a little bit of time. Uh, you, you're semi non-hostile. That sucks. That's going to make it a little harder for us. I think. Okay. Let's get moving. Oh, crab meat. Thank you. Oh. How'd you die? Oh, there is one more set. Shizen. There we go. Are you... Which of you is the one that's alive? <laughs> is it you? Oh, it's you. Okay. Oh my god! What the hell? See what I mean? Even him. He was non-hostile. We're almost dead. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let us die. Believe you know when you're poisoned as well. We're not. We're not poisoned. But uh, when we get poisoned, you know. Oh come on, stop that. Okay, I stopped myself. <laughs> what an episode. What an episode so far. God damn. Okay. All right. So we got a lot of crab meat. That's that's good. This is the positive of this. We're getting a lot of crab meat. We're getting a lot of eggs. Um. Good news all around. Too much, cannot run. Okay, uh, what about if we drink? Uh, let's, let's drink. We've got more than enough to go around, so we're gonna go have ourselves a nice lager and get carrying. Um, we're going to have the crab, not the water. Crab, not water. C crab, crab, not the water. <laughs> Come on. We're gonna play crab or water. Okay. Now we've already taken from you. So, there is one more set of them. One more set for us to get rid of before we have cleared the brewery of these menaces. And uh, we're, we're, we're hurting. If we get hit one more time, we're dead. That's it. Game over. Um, did we break another arm? No, it's just the existing one and our torso that got wrecked even further. Good. Good. Bandages. Uh, I like your moves. They're impressive. They're good. What about your friends? What are they gonna do? Let's just have some crab meat. Ah, 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 no. <laughs> I am a grown man. I'm a grown man. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, god damn. I'm being terrified of crabs. Well, I guess some people are. Um, yeah. Bastards. So, we have three more to essentially wait to die <laughs> so that we can harvest their meat and their eggs um, and then we'll be good, you know? Then we'll be happy. Ah, look, they're all gathered around us. They're having a little meeting where they're trying to decide how they can get to me. And all the while, actually, yeah, we can see them dying. We can see the radiation affecting them. Uh, I don't know if it's rads or what. I think it's got to be rads, right? Yeah. 
something like that. Um, you may call it an exploit, I call it winning. Um, and that's exactly what we're doing right now, especially when they can kill us as easily as they can. There we go, another one, they're almost perfectly cooked. See the radiation, the radiation essentially cooks them for us, you know? It's just like a slow cooked water based microwave. It's not like that at all, don't, don't eat radioactive crabs. I, I shouldn't have to say that. <laughs> but you never know, I don't want to end up in a news article somewhere. Uh, right, okay, you keep on doing your thing. It's isopod time. And we are going to grab the last of the eggs. And oh, we are going to have quite the meal. Uh, we are we are seriously full up on crab meat and crab eggs. How many how many how many eggs do we have now? Twenty, twenty. That's awesome. With the dirty water, we can make a whole heap of omelets, and those omelets are going to be legit. However, we can't carry our weapon now. Um, what we can do is have some buff out, uh, which will allow us to carry all of this stuff. Or we. I've got the pot, so we can create a fire here. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Uh, we don't want the periodic damage, though, so we're going to have to drop something for the time being. Uh, crap, crap, crap. I just want to get a little bit further. I guess we can just drop the crab, the crab meat for now. We'll do that. Drop you on the ground, crab meat. I'm coming back for you. Oh, that's very easy to lose. I'm playing with fire. Um, I, we will literally be playing with fire in a moment. Um, I'm going to create a fire right here. So... Let's go here to grab our little chem set out. Weapons. Portable chemistry set. And then it's the, uh, <laughs> the gas canister mine. Game over. Ah, uh, dear. Um, right, so what are we missing? Oh, everything. That's right, because we lost everything. Cool. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad. <laughs> Great. That's, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Um, I don't think we can find the necessary things to, to start a fire in here. So that really sucks. Um, so, with that being the case, we need to think tactfully about how we're going to be able to do this. The lager's worn off. Not a great start. I still want to explore down this way, see where that goes. Uh, we're not going to do that just yet, though. Yeah, we can't start a fire here. That's, uh, that's frustrating. Because when we cook down the food, it's going to be a hell of a lot less. Um, yeah, so, how are we going to get a fire started in here? We have a lot of things necessary to, to, to actually do it. Um, we're parched from... Okay, all right. Well, we, we can we can semi-deal with that for now. Um, we're just going to go have some more water. And we are just going to keep on drinking dirty water. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we want now? Blamco. Yeah, we'll have that. Do we have any other cooked food? I don't think we do. No. Hmm. What is it going to be then? Fancy lad snack cakes? Properly fed. Fantastic. And properly irradiated as well. Excellent news, everyone. Um, so, yeah, this sucks because we had all the resources necessary to be able to make a fire kit. Um, except the game stole them from us. I'm kind of half tempted to give us the necessary things to be able to do it, seeing as we had them, then we should be able to. Um, in the interest of you all not watching me run around trying to find those things again, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to be back in a second, and I know some of you are going to disagree with that decision, but it makes sense in my mind, when the game steals something from you, you can steal something back from the game, and that makes sense for me right now at the very least. Okay, we have ourselves a fire kit, we have one back. Fantastic. We are going to try and make ourselves a little fire just here for the time being. Nothing too incredible, but enough to get us by. And who knows, we might actually be able to access our things again. Possibly. Who knows? They, they might be gone. We'll find out together. We made ourselves a little fire next to the crabos. Let's go ahead and activate this thing, placing our cooking pot on the fire. Uh, and everything's gone. <laughs> Note to self, don't put things inside of a cooking pot. Not a good move. Uh, right, so with that being the case, um, we should be able to go and grab our other things and get moving. Um, namely, our crab meat. And get a cooking. Now, it was over this side. Hopefully it hasn't disappeared on us. Um, it was here. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, where did it go? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, okay. Oh, yes, of course, it's too much and we can't run. I realize that. We're gonna try and make our way back there. Uh, it's over there. Can we make it through this gap? Eh, just... We, we, we might be taking pre damage here, so we need to be careful about this. Oh no, we're stuck. Oh no, we're stuck. Uh, don't let this be how we die. Just keep on going, keep on going, a little bit further. We're nearly there. I could have just lifted it now that I think about it. Oh well, we're almost back. We'll get cooking ASAP. Uh, carrying too much cannot run. Okay, alright. First of all, roasting. We're gonna make mutt crab- Oh, where, you, you can only use boxed water? <sighs> I am not happy. Okay. Alright, so. We should be looking pretty good after that. Let's go ahead and exit. Uh, so, we can't make any more omelettes because we need dirty water and it needs to be boxed. Yeah. Uh, so we're sl we're only just over encumbered right now, so that's not that bad. Uh, yeah, it's it's this it's this mod that's kind of screwing things over for us, unfortunately. Um, having dirty water not be it's not context context specific. It's, it's being split among all these different bottles. Terrible, all, all all things considered. That's not Frost's fault. This is me trying to fix uh, some problems with the base game. Uh, so it's a Fallout problem rather than a Frost problem. Uh, so unfortunately, we're limited with our omelettes. Uh, we can't make any more until we get boxes. Now we can make boxes. We can make boxes for boxed water. Um, we need materials to be able to do that though. Don't you keep on making noises like you're alive. You're not alive. Uh, where did our rifle go? Oh, it's all the way down there. Yeah, we do not want to lose you. You can rest halfway in the ground like you're gonna fall through it. That feels great. Um, okay, so what's gonna happen here is in between episodes, I'm going to have to get rid of that, change to a different bottle mod. I know, I know. Hopefully we don't lose too much by doing that. Uh, and hopefully we will just have dirty water. Because if we have dirty water in a can and we can't boil it because we need more in a can, but we have others in a mirror, it makes no sense to me. And I don't know why the mod was designed that way in the first place. Uh, Okay, we don't want this to turn into Rikon complaints about mods, but uh, sometimes it will be like that. <laughs> uh, so, we still have a little bit of weight on us. I don't want to die before the end of the episode, so we're just going to go and drop that gas canister man mine over there. And it appears I cannot speak any longer, so we're going to crouch down by this fire. And guys and gals, that's where we're going to be wrapping things up for today. We were lucky to make it out of this one alive. We still got a lot of breakdancing crabs around us, and, well, we still have some omelettes to make, but that, guys and gals, is going to be in the next one. Thank you all for joining me. I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.